It's a typical morning in a typical high school hallway. Lockers slam and sneakers squeak and students try to squeeze in some socializing between biology and algebra. But far away from the buzz of a hundred adolescent voices, this classroom silently awaits the next eager group of students. There aren't any textbooks or chalky blackboards here. What you will find is snap-on tools and the smell of axle grease. Welcome to one of the most popular electives at Decatur High, Tractor Building 101. Okay, boys and girls, we got 10 days of San Antonio. Let's get this work done. Technically, Rick Elmore is an ag science teacher, but the kids all call him Coach, an appropriate nickname when you consider that two years ago, he took his team of dedicated wrench wrangling teenagers to victory at the National Championships of Tractor Restoration. They give up weekends, they give up holidays, girlfriends, to come in and work on these tractors. And these, these old tractors are something that kids take a lot of pride in. There's a lot of pride in victory, too. High above the garage floor, the message is clear. National champions work here. But this year, a rival team has come on the scene to give these trophy winners a run for their money. They might look like they got lost on the way to the mall, but every day this group of cheerleaders, volleyball players, and homecoming nominees put down the purses and pick up the pliers. And in the process, they've built themselves a place in history. See, these young women make up the first all-female tractor team in the history of the FFA. And their determination to best the boys is as clear as the writing on the wall. My freshman daughter came in and said, uh, Dad, why can't, why can't the girls do it? I just simply told her because none of the girls want to do it. And she replied, if I get enough girls to do it, can we do a tractor team? I said, absolutely, and I'd be glad to. I convinced the other girls just by, like, I asked my friend Rachel. I was like, Rachel, you know, you want to have a girls tractor team? Rachel told some of her friends, which was Elisa and Jordan, and she told Elisa about it, and Elisa was like, that's awesome. Yep, Decatur girls tractor team is like totally awesome, but they had a tough time convincing the boys that this battle of the sexes was no joke. I told the boys, I said, guys, uh, the girls were talking about doing a tractor, and at first it was a joke. The boys were like, no way. Once the girls started going to work, though, it kind of silenced all the, the, the talk, and then they started watching them, and the girls worked very hard. The girls team actually did impress us some. I told them to go get me a screwdriver and they brought me back a wrench. But besides that, they know, they kind of know what they're doing. We have once again done something that girls were said that they shouldn't do. And I, I think it's funny that they're, you know, they're, this was supposed to be, you know, they're the mechanics or whatever. And then here we come, you know, like, oh, we can do too. <laughs> so um, we have a shirt that says uh, anything that boys can do, girls can do better. Only a few months into the school year, there was no doubt that these grease monkey ets meant business. Rick's taught them to turn wrenches like diesel technicians, and in no time, this rusty old tractor retched and rumbled and roared back to life. It's one thing for these old farm machines to pull a plow, but nothing less than perfection will get either team to national finals. Day turns to night, and Coach Elmore's boys and girls are still hard at work on the finishing touches. See, the big meet in San Antonio is just hours away.
A cavalcade of mechanical confidence crowds the auditorium. As the judges make their rounds, tensions run high. Months of work have come down to this single moment of truth. When the results are in, both Decatur teams get nods from the judges. The blue ribbon for the boys and the girls bring home a red. These girls that are in this particular group are very competitive. These girls don't like to get beat at anything. That red ribbon will be a, a huge motivator. Uh, and if there's, a, if there's an Ag Mechanic show next year in San Antonio, the Decatur FFA team will be very well represented. You, you, can, you can write that on the wall. We'll definitely be back. A second place prize. Not bad for a first effort from a group of girls who walked into this shop with nothing but a dream. But winning, they've learned, isn't everything. And the memories they've made on this journey are as strong as tempered steel. I feel like they're my sisters. I love each and every one of them. And I think we have a really close, close bond and I don't think we'll ever forget this. Thanks for hopping in and traveling with us. Now click the subscribe button for more videos like the one you just saw.